Did you know that if your house was built between 1965 and 1975 and wired with aluminum wiring, it is 55 times more likely to have a house fire than houses built the same period with copper wire. Hi, this is Don Hawley with Hawley Home Inspection, Certified Master Inspector. I want to welcome you to this session of What's Wrong With Your House, number 19. So houses built from 1965 to 1975 used a lot of aluminum wiring because this was the period when the Vietnam War was really getting hot and copper went sky high in price mainly because copper is the main ingredient in brass casings and we were using a lot of them in that period. So how do we identify aluminum wiring? Now it's if you look at the picture above, you can see that it has that soft, silvery look um, as compared to the copper wire. And for my inspector friends, yes, there are a lot of things wrong with this picture other than the aluminum wire. We'll just touch on a couple. Um, you can't have aluminum and copper wire under the same lug. You can't have two neutral wires under the same lug etc etc so while we're on that modern electrical boxes have been upgraded so they are compatible with aluminum wire that's not a problem with the compatibility of the panel itself so the way that you tell the difference between aluminum wire and what's called tinned copper wire is the tinned copper wire isn't quite as shiny and soft looking as the aluminum wire is. The easiest way to tell the difference between the two is to look at the wrapping on the wire itself when it comes into the panel. If it's a vinyl wrapping, it's 99.9 percent .9 sure that you have aluminum. If it has a cloth-like wrapper, it's 99.9% .9 sure that you have tinned copper. The reason for the tinned copper is uh, in the 40s and 50s when they went to non-metallic sheeted cable, commonly referred to as Romex, they were having trouble with the uh, copper wire corroding, so they tinned it, which basically uh, amounts to putting like a thin coat of solder on it. It, it looks just like solder, okay? Um, so once we determine that the house was built from 1965 to 1975 and we suspect it has aluminum wiring and we verify by the uh, outer sheeting that it is aluminum, there are four different accepted processes that we can do to correct the aluminum wiring. First is a little extreme. It involves replacing all the aluminum wire with copper wire. Um, while we're on that subject, they used aluminum because it's almost as good a conductor as copper. Not quite as good. A little, a little harder to work with. Uh, if you really wanted to get the best conducting possible, you'd use gold or silver. And so, if you ever get a bill from an electrician, you probably understand why they don't use gold and silver. It seems like they did, but it's not. So the second accepted process to correct the aluminum wiring is what they call copalume connectors. The picture in the above here. The uh, copalume connector is a crimp connector. You slide the uh, aluminum wire in one side and a copper pigtail in the other side and then you use a uh, battery powered crimper that crimps it and makes a totally uh, correct electrical connection. The uh, problem with the Copalum system is you have to be certified by the manufacturer and there may not be an electrician in your area that does the Copalum. The third approved system, Lumicon. The Lumicon, as you can see above, just is basically a splice block 
you put the aluminum wire in and tighten one screw down on it and put the copper pigtail wire in on the other side and screw it down. And the reason we do this is because the most of the receptacles and switches that are in use now are not rated for use on aluminum wire. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, uh, as a matter of fact, recommends these three and these three uh, procedures only for correcting aluminum wiring. There is a fourth correction that is uh, accepted by the National Electrical Code and if it's a UL listed product are the purple wire nuts. The purple wire nuts, according to the manufacturer, have a special grease inside and they're made with a special wire for the springs that does not expand and contract like the standard wire nuts. Uh, whatever you do, do not use the yellow, red, or gray wire nuts on aluminum wiring. The reason we pigtail the copper in is to eliminate the expansion and contraction that's, that happens with the aluminum wire. That's what causes the problems to begin with. Circuits that uh, have a heavy current draw, like kitchen circuits where you have the toaster and the coffee pot and the refrigerator, use a lot of uh, current. Your bedrooms and living rooms where you're probably just running a light, maybe a, a desktop computer or something like that don't use near as much electricity so they're not near as likely to ex heat up when they're being used and cool down and when they heat up and cool down and heat up and cool down hundreds or thousands of a time then the uh, fittings get loose when the fittings get loose then there's more resistance the more resistance the more they heat up the more they heat up the more the resistance and before long you have a fire on your hands uh, just because you have a house that's built in this period and used uh, wired with aluminum wire and you haven't had any problems yet doesn't mean that you won't. As a matter of fact, the longer it's been without a problem, the more likely you are to have one. So other than uh, pigtailing, you can replace uh, receptacles and switches with receptacles and switches that are rated for aluminum and copper wiring. Uh, make sure that you look on the box and it will say rated for aluminum or copper like this or it'll say for use with copper or copper clad aluminum only and those are usually half the price of the ones that are approved for the aluminum. Please remember that electrical work is dangerous and is a skill that takes many years to, to acquire. If you're not comfortable with the electrical work, the best thing you can do is hire a qualified electrician. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and we will get to them as soon as we can. And we thank you.